Agnes Sina Enakoju was 16. She died in hospital yesterday after she was shot in a takeaway pizza shop in East London, apparently an innocent victim of some kind of gang-related shooting. She said to have been someone who wasn't involved in gangs at all. She died simply because she was probably in the wrong place at the wrong time. She was involved with a youth club called The Crib in Hackney in East London. Janet Collins is a youth worker there and is here with you. There was a vigil in her memory last night. It's obviously been a terrible tragedy in your community. Yeah, it's a very big tragedy in our community because um, Agnes was a very strong part of our community. She was on our youth forum and everything we did, Agnes was there to help out. She was a smiley, bubbly, well, just a fantastic all-rounder. Uh, two people came up on a motorbike or something and shot through the window of this shop. How much violence of that kind, perhaps not as extreme as that, but of that kind, is happening in the streets? I think that it happens all over. It's not just um, pinned down to Hackney itself. It's all over. I think the young people at the moment are a bit out of control. Even the older community are trying to sort of, like, curb their violence and their um, this gang mentality. And the availability of guns. Well, the availability of guns, we have to turn around and look higher than just the people on the streets. Because obviously they're getting them from somewhere. How can a 15-year-old be walking around with a gun? There was a shooting the other day in Hackney where young people were firing, firing across the road out of a car. And the people, young people that are walking along the road fired back. So that means young people are walking on the streets with guns as well. Now, you are involved in this uh, youth club, The Crib, which yeah. I know Agnes was involved in. And presumably that's an attempt, you know, in a good sort of ordinary citizen-focused way to try to give people an alternative to the community of the streets. Yeah, the, having, youth, having youth facilities is a good way of keeping young people off the streets, but I think some young people, they need more of a, more of a quick fix. They need more... Um, cause most, most gang mentality is to do with money. We all know that. So most young people need... Like, we set up a project called... It's a T-shirt project. And we're trying to get young people to be, to be more involved in social enterprise. Because what young people come to and they say, look, I want to come off the streets, I want to come to the streets, I want to be in this sort of like, this no more, I need a job, I need a job. But there's no jobs available to turn around and say to a young person, well, there you go, here's a job here, here and now. So what's the alternative? The alternative is if we all put our heads together and start doing like, you know, like apprenticeships, but apprenticeships like how it was like years ago. Years ago you came right. out of school, yeah, and you went into an apprenticeship that paid you money. Now you come out of school, you go, they go to, you can, you've got an apprenticeship, they give you the college place, but you've got to go and find the employment. And some young people ain't adequate enough to go out and sit and pass an interview. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, I can see it exactly. Um, what's your own impression about the grip of a gang culture? Is it worse than it was? Is it getting better or is it getting worse? I think we've always had gangs, because, like, well, from when I was younger, we had the skinheads, the greasers, the mods. So I think the gang, cult the gang culture has always existed, but because it's the, the, children, the young people are so young now, and the, the rate of violence is different. Before you fight with your fist, these young people are going out and they're fighting with a knife, they're fighting with a gun, and their answer to, um, their answer to, uh, back in that, their answer to uh, anger towards another person is not to go and fight them or go and face them and argue with them, it's to go and eliminate them and shoot them. I think the sentences, sentences is wrong, because you can get in... Do you think it should be tougher? Yeah, it should be tougher. I think, I think that some they should turn around and make an example of certain people and let them realise that when you're going to get a sentence, you can't be turning around and saying, oh, well, I'm going to get five years. It'll take off a couple of years. I'll only do about two and a half years. Because the consequence of this is that this poor young girl, poor young woman, um, is dead. Yeah, for nothing. For nothing at all. But someone decides to shoot from outside the pizza and aim into a window and shoot randomly. And it's not just the shooter that's responsible. It's everybody else that's in that gang mentality from that area that's responsible as well. Janet Collins from Hackney. Thank you very much.